taking out this 50 year old Penco boiler and turning it into this beauty with built on site drop header. 66 and What's going on everyone? It's me, Mikey Pipes. I am very, very excited to share this video with you. I, I am just blown away by how my team made this system work. And it's just breathtaking. Breathtaking! Isn't that right, Gigi? It's amazing. You see the squirrel? No, you see the Burnham steam boiler with the double drop header? Do you see it? <laughs> but stay to the end. We may have a little surprise for you. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Could I have done better? I am doing this boiler this way because of the community has shown me, proved to me, the importance of having a drop header. And hence, the reason why this Burnham SIN5 that we're putting in to replace a Penco 50 year old to the dot gas fired steam boiler. It's gonna be sick. And please guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And there's a link down in the description box down below for a plethora of other things. But most importantly, please check out my Reddit sub page. Really appreciate it. Post your weirdest, crazy things you see on, that you come across in the world, whatever you want, it's all good. Sharing is caring, and I love you, and you love me. Let's get going. All right, I'm gonna start draining down a little bit here, but let's just take a look at the service on this boiler. Again, it's a Penco, and it's from 1972. Take a look at that. Amazing. How much service history is here? I like looking at stuff like this. Hey, okay. And these guys, 2001. Advise customer that due to age, replacement should be considered. Well, we've been here for the past 10 years. I'm gonna hopefully take power from here. We need 110 volts. Power the transformer. This is all millivolt. You see, we have a power pile which generates around 650, 750 millivolts, which powers the safety circuit and tells the burner to come on, the main valve to open. This is our inch and a quarter wet return. As you can see here, our boiler feed there. We're going to repipe this. It's split into two here. So we're gonna separate these, all right? These two two inches going into one two inch. We're gonna separate these two and try to use both tappings with the top of the boiler. All right, got the front cover off the jacket. Wow. And there's our hole right there. You'll see more once we take apart this one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sections. All right. There she was. Look at that. It's like mashed potatoes. Is that a problem? Start smashing that thumbs up button like I was smashing the top of this boiler. Do it now. All right, she lasted 50 years. This has been leaking for quite some time. You can see we even got a stainless steel liner right there. Look at that, going straight up. Okay, boiler's downstairs. Tight, tight, tight staircase. See? And there it is. For some reason, <laughs> the IN5 draft hood which came in the box, is not for an IN5. Even though it's labeled IN5, it's not for an IN5, so Daniel Mini-Me 
Daniel Sun is going to Ferguson, swapping that out. We're coming up on both risers, both tabbing the top of the boiler, full 24 inches, elbow out, break down, come across, pick these two up. Let me show you the staircase. Staging area. Yeah, take a look at this bad boy. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Almost the height of my knee. But we did it. That shit cray. I was looking to see when the next season of the boys comes on. June. June. <laughs> Lower the cutoff probe. Do not use Teflon tape. PTFE tape on it. Only use pipe dope. Peter, you alright over there? Yeah, I'm just trying to get a good on this. The only one way to learn is by doing it yourself. I think he finally realized he was going the wrong way and opening the wrench. <laughs> okay, go to town. Should I have him put a, another wrench on the... Oh, on the no, on <laughs> So we're coming up, we have two 24 inch uh, nipples coming out of the top of the boiler, two unions. We have a three and a half inch nipple there, an elbow, we're gonna come out, point down, T, and then go that away. I am working on the trim on the side of the boiler here. We have a two by three quarter inch bushing there. I'm not using this side for my wet re my wet return and my hard for loop. I'm using the other side because my pipes are there and it just makes more sense to keep it to drain on this side and bring the water on the other side. Low water cutoff probe, pressure gauge to 30 PSI, side glass, protection rods, protected or protecting her with the rods. I got to put some Teflon type here, pigtail for pressure. Okay, Peter, let me show you what you're doing wrong. Bring that 24 up there. Switch, switch places? Oh well, no, uh, bring the 24 up here, all right? Mm -hmm. The closer, the better. It's all about the leverage, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, tighten. See? And with two inch, you should be using a 24 inch here, by the way, just so you know, okay? And remember, keep your hand to the, closer to the end as possible, so that way you can maximize leverage. Pigtail, I'm gonna put the pressure troll on there. Nice. All right, I got my electrical box mounted there. This is the thermostat relay. This is the thermostat relay harness. They give you a zip tie in the box. The zip tie is to secure the harness to the thermostat relay. All right, because the constant clicking, click, 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 loosens this up and you'll have a no heat. Hey, Peter Pan, I asked you to put some cardboard here and he cuts little pieces. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I should screw the box. Up. Why not? We don't need the box. You've got to open up the box, right? Yeah. And then put it on top of the boiler. What are you What are you doing? Stop, 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 stop. Right? Yeah. See, you see how that is? Now you can put it on top of the boiler. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Working on wiring while Mike and Peter Pan are working on the boiler piping. And this is the damper. If you notice, see that hole right there? That hole takes this plug. Now, it says here, the plug is installed only if the appliance is equipped with an intermittent or direct ignition system. Failure to follow these instructions can cause odor problems and minor property damage due to moisture. Do not install on standing pilot systems. Let me get a show of hands. How many of you actually put this in? I know I do. All right. Took out that transformer. By the way, this is, this is heavy, Mike. <laughs> and it's only 35 VA. Look at that. By the Jefferson Electric Company from Bellwood, Illinois. Secondary, 25 volts. This would have been good enough for the new boiler. Damn. All right, 
it's live. We're gonna have to place parts up with this wire. Hanging on a screw. Okay. You got money, is that live or is it dead? It's like hot or not? It's, hot or not? It's live, I'm confident. Damn! <laughs> That is scary. See, it all goes to that switch. And this is live too. See? They all had the wrong hoods on them. Every single one of them. <laughs> no way, really? So they had to open up all the boxes, count how many they needed, then they had to call another Ferguson to send in the proper hoods. Wow. So it was like a whole nightmare. But I go back there. Yeah. And the guy's like, uh, can I use the for the guy who doesn't work in the warehouse? Yeah. Like, can I use the forklift to the forklift guy? Okay. And he uses it, and he, he goes to pull the boiler out. It's on the second rack, and he sticks the forklift under it, and it just pushes the whole boiler back up against the wall, like hard. <laughs> and he was like, why is this happening? <laughs> so he takes the boiler down yeah. after a couple tries. The feet on the boiler are ripped off and dangling. Okay, so that's the old, that's the one they tried to give me yesterday. And there's a forklift punch hole through the box. Yes, like that's the one they tried to give me yesterday. That's insane. See, the, 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 those guys, the, the warehouse guys, the forklift operators at Ferguson, they really shouldn't be operating a forklift. And they said they're going to keep it in stock. Someone will buy it. <laughs> Someone will buy it for sure. <laughs> Some Jose will buy it. Sorry, no offense to anyone named Jose. Let's work on the electric now. Look how easy that is. Look at that. Nipix. Love me Nipix. Oh, I cut it too, too long. Oh, wait, how long is that? That might end up working out. Yeah, yeah. Let me see it. Nipix. I'm like the Statue of Liberty. See? Got my hand up. They're flipping off all these breakers. And they haven't turned the power off to this, to this circuit yet. <laughs> that looks tits, by the way. Is it? Put the level on it. See? Daniel's son is in charge of wiring. Hold on for a second. Let's use the Nipix. Right? And see if it'll cut through cloth. Sure does. Wow. Thank you, Peter Smart. Appreciate that. Peter, uh, where is my inch and a quarter close nipple? I was looking for it currently. What is that? Is that one inch? It's an inch and a quarter. You tell me. There's a box. What is this box yeah, labeled? What is the box? You just opened it, right? You look at the box. What does the box say, Peter? What does that say? Inch and a quarter, yeah. It's an inch and a half. Okay. So where's the nipple? You have 90s? Give me a couple 90s. I have special needs. <laughs> I wrapped the glove. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. And I saved it too. Yeah. That, even though I need to do new gloves though. I have whole, very, lots and lots of holes. Holes. I'm going to turn it on. Thermostat's not calling. I'm supposed to see if anything blows up. Yeah, true. You want to see if anything blows up? Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, you have power. Look at that. Nice. You did good. You did good, Daniel son. This is like, I think this is the. No, you wired one before, though. The second one. The second one, but you did it all by yourself, though. The first one. Well, this is actually the third one. Yeah. The first one was when I put the BX on the wrong way. I yeah. crimped the wire, the thermostat oh, wire. Yeah. Side, and so now in the next team boiler, you could do the whole trim on that side now. Yeah, I could. See? Excellent. All right. We have, are making a lot of progress here, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already. Subscribe. You're live streaming and I'm recording for the video. And then we have these two guys here thinking that we're going to do something. I think it's tight. We might have to heat the pipe. Oh, I hurt my neck. How? Ow, I don't know. Your girlfriend has to give you a massage tonight. Hold it. Nice strap on the header. How many people are watching? 66. Nice. And we got a dollar ninety-nine. Very nice. Look at that. The pip. The pip. 12 inches, baby. That's what she said. I think this could. That's impressive, by the way. <laughs> that would be impressive. Like, I don't know. Mandingo. That never set the torch. I know, we're gonna end up torching it shortly. Yeah. yeah. Mike, you need guys on the back. 
Godzilla would have strapped this boiler to his back and carried it down. All right. Let me, uh... What? Your double live? No, I'm I'm re I'm filming for the, the the video. He's live streaming, right? And you're watching. All right, let's just let's put some a little dope on this, and we're gonna put that in there and connect. Boom, right. boom. So this is how I roll. I got my iPhone. I film, and I put it all together in iMovie. So this is our wet return. I threw in an inch and a quarter nipple there, inch and a quarter steam tea, sorry, steam 90, another nipple. This is an inch and a quarter by three quarter uh, steam heel tea. I'm gonna put a drain there. I'm gonna come across another nipple, union, nipple, elbow, which is there, and connect to the Hartford loop. As you can see, Hartford loop there is right around halfway on the side glass. And the feed is gonna drop because I got a phone call. Are we still feeding? There you go. See, behind the scenes, guys. Behind the scenes. Okay, the skim tap. See that? Skim tap. We're gonna cap that. We don't skim. I had boiler treatment. And that's good enough. Hmm. We'll be able to get that off. Okay. 99 watching. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Really appreciate it. See this? We're live. Live, baby. We're live. So you cut that all by yourself, huh? I did. Very nice. Very nice. We have 110 people watching, by the way. 81 thumbs up. Finally. 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 And we have a dollar ninety-nine of donations. Really appreciate that. Okay. We have an inch and a quarter union. We're gonna need a union there. And this cap is in the box. There's the cap. Yeah, we need more Teflon tape. Blue monster, baby. Blue monster. Sweet. Sweet. Hit that like button, people. That's right, guys. 110 people watching, only 83 thumbs up. What is going on? What is going on, guys? Anthony, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Really, really appreciate that. Yeah, support like like yours really helps grow this channel, helps improve search and rank on YouTube, and helps spreading the word of the great stuff that we do. And I just want to make it very crystal clear to everyone. There's a reason why this is like this. I told you it doesn't work. Yeah. Broken. It's cutting. Okay. There's a reason why we are doing this like this. And that is because someone sent me a link of the Whale McLean steam boiler with the glass tubing. And you can see that why this is needed. And this should not be an optional method of insulation. This should be the only method of insulation. Right? You want to go as high as possible. You don't want that water surging up, that boiling up. You know, you may think it's boiling all the way down there, but it's shooting up all the way up here. And you still have tons of water swishing around you. It's crazy. You have to do this. You know what? You have to do it this way. You'll have much better steam. Hi, Tony. Really appreciate it. The comment. Thank you, guys. From Montreal. Thank you. All right. Flu is done. Now, you want to replace that bowl valve on the fly, huh? Well, I don't want to replace it on the fly. I want you to replace you it, you on, replace the it on the fly. Well, first things first, right? This, if we have to replace the bowl valve, we have to put in a new bowl valve, right? So we're not going to leave that one there, are we? I guess we could. Back up and back up, right? Yeah. And by the way, for nostalgic purposes, look at this guy. Jacques, hey, H check, plumbing and heating. Let's go, Bosch. Whose one is this? Not, not mine. It cut better than I thought it would. Milwaukee M12 automatic tubing cutter. We got some Viega press fittings. And we're going to connect that to that. All right. 140. No, 138. There it is. 
This is a 24 inch nipple, Union three inch. Same thing here, Union three inch, Steam 90, which is cast iron. This is a four and a half, I believe, four and a half, another 90 pointing down. This becomes our drop header. All that violent water in this boiler is coming up and it's shooting up here. I'll put a little card up there. You can see that Whale McLean steam boiler with the, ga the, the glass piping. Water is violent up here. Comes up around, comes down here, makes its way back to the boiler. I have a nice pitch right here. I have my two T's for the two headers. There's one here, and here's the other. All right, comes down to my Hartford loop, two by inch and a quarter um, steam T, two by three quarter uh, steam heel T, and here's my water supply, my backflow preventer, ball valve, no manual, no automatic water feed here. My wet, my wet return, Union, uh, inch and a quarter by three quarter, steam heel tee there. I'm using steam fittings here, even on the bottom, right? On the other side, you got the year right, Daniel. Oh, you're not Daniel. <laughs> Pressure troll, I have it set to a little under two, differential of 0.5, water level right there, low water cutoff, drain, transformer, all the low voltage wiring is in there. Automatic vent damper under the hood. Inside the boiler vestibule, thermostat relay, thermostat harness with the zip tie. That's to make sure it doesn't become loose. Electronic ignition module, gas valve, rollout switch. Behind the boiler, there. And the two black wires, that's your spill switch, block vent switch. And 15 PSI relief valve with drip light. And with our combustion print results from the Volar A450. Beautiful, beautiful machine. It's beautiful. Got the gas cock marked for the gas, the boiler, service tag. It's nice. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. It was educational. It was, it was fun doing this one. A lot of extra work. A lot of more fittings, more labor, more time, obviously, duh. But after watching the Whale McLean video that's circulating around YouTube with the double drop header, with the glass piping instead of steel piping, you can actually see the water, the steam boiling in there. And it's, it stresses the importance of following manufacturer's instructions that get that they give you in the manual there's a reason why you need that 24 inch piece with the top of the boiler before you make your first turn because if you make it any lower water is going to violently go up there because it's boiling up there so the lesson here the lesson learned here is read the manual from cover to cover if you have questions call the manufacturer call a friend call someone who knows don't just slap it in because that's how the old one one was. Don't do that. Show value as a professional. All right, guys. It's been fun. Going to finish up walking the dog. She loves sniffing trees. And I'll see you on the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.